uh, welcome to my talk. Uh, I'll be talking about a framework that I've just recently open source. It's called CanTalk. Um, and the title of my talk will be CanTalk, a Canvas hacking framework to compile fun hacks and vulnerabilities. So what's the agenda for this talk? Um, of course, self-promotion, which is who am I, and then backstory and background about why I started this um, framework and project, and then a quick start and basic usage of CanSot. And of course, simple demo on how you can get started with CanSot. And then if you have, uh, I have a slide for Q&A, but you, know, you can just ping me at Twitter, at shipcode, if you have any questions regarding CanSot, especially with installing some of the dependencies of CanSot. And if you want a, a real demo about CanSot. So let's start with Waman. So my name is Jay Turla slash shipcode. That's my Twitter handle. And I currently work right now as a principal security consultant at Viking Cloud. I do NetPen, web application pen tests, and a couple of IoT uh, hacking as well. And then I'm also a Rootcon goon and CFP review board. So despite my family name, um, some people would DM me if I'm the author of Thurla Malware. So I'm not the author of Thurla Malware. I'm Filipino. Uh, that uh, Thurla Malware originated from Russia. So yeah, definitely innocent about that. And then I've also contributed to some auxiliary and exploit modules to Metasploit, including Hardware Bridge. So that's why uh, this framework is also one of the things that I want to develop. And then I also organize uh, the Car Hacking Village at RootCon or the Car Hacking Village and PH. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Robert and the rest of the Car Hacking Village team in the US for allowing me to you know, organize such event here in the Philippines. So uh, aside from that, I also love hacking botnets. So I've written a couple of um, modules or exploits regarding hacking botnets as well. So the background story of CanThought is it's actually inspired upon the idea of Metasploit's hardware bridge and the post modules related to automotive. So maybe you're familiar with Metasploit hardware bridge. It allows you to interact with the Canvas network using Metasploit and Craig Smith and some other Metasploit contributors contributed some modules that can be used for pen testing your cars, um, also fuzzing, um, fuzzing the Canvas network. And also there's even a one module that I really like from that one, which they call as um, automotive PD PDT, which allows you to, you know, pop the airbags of your car. So it's really cool. I mean, that, that module is one of the coolest that I've seen from uh, Metasploit. So it is like Metasploit. CanThought is pretty much like Metasploit. And it is a framework in Python. It's not coded in Ruby. It's actually coded in Python. And it's based on the exploit kit development kit. So instead of writing from scratch my own framework, I've used the exploit kit development kit for, you know, for interfacing with, you know, uh, automating some of the vulnerabilities or fun car hacking vulnerabilities. So next. Um, so this is the inspiration. If you use Metasploit, if you type or uh, type in the console once you launch Metasploit, if you search automotive, you can see a lot of, uh, you can see some of these modules. Um, you've got the can flood, and this is the one that I'm talking about, uh, the PDT, which is which allows you to check for prep and pyrotechnic devices like the airbags, uh, battery clamps, and then there's also some of the modules that I've actually contributed, just like the ECU hard reset and the diagnostic state using Metasploit. So um, the realization and development with CanDot is the last Metasploit module for automotive related to Canvas hacking was last October 2021. 
which was the module that I contributed. And I was the one uh, who created the previous Metasploit modules related to car hacking, uh, diagnostic state modules, ECU hard reset, and the Mazda 2 instrument cluster accelerometer mo mover, which allows you to you know, fuzz um, the instrument cluster for Mazda 2 as long as you're connected to the bus. So I tried push pushing some modules related to the Jeep hacks by Charlie Miller and Chris Velasek, but were close uh, by the Metasploit team. So um, this was the one that I actually tried contributing uh, a year ago. And um, the module will bleed all the uh, air brakes on the 2000, uh, I mean the brakes, sorry, not the air brakes, but on the two 2014 uh, Jeep Cherokee, we all know that's very old, right? But I just want to you know, put it in Metasploit to have it as a reference and you know, for people to try it on. Um, but sad to say it was closed. And you can see the, uh, the comments in there that even with a defunct mode option provided, I am in favor of not accepting this module into the main branch as I can see this module being reused by other community members or pen testers. Now, I'm not hurt on this one. Um, I do understand their decision. So from there, uh, this was actually the unreleased module for, you know, for the Cherokee kill breaks related to Charlie Miller. And um, you can still see the code, even though it's closed. But, you know, it was not um, added to the Metasploit module, which is understandable because they don't want to, you know, build with uh, the hardware bridge anymore. So um, another thing that I've that I've known since then is there are a lot of open source can fuzzers and analyzers already out there. Uh, we have can tools, which is uh, really good. And then caring caribou, which is one of my favorite for fuzzing UDS diagnostic services. And then um, the savvy can, which is a good, a good tool as well. And then the C map, which was presented by uh, Robert, which is a good tool as well. And then the Canalizator and then Kayak and other open source tools out there, which I I didn't just, you know, put it on the slide because there, there are really a lot, but these are some of the awesome and good tools that I've actually tested. So, so why not create my own framework that contains known canvas hacks and attacks uh, similar to Metasploit? So I think about it and okay, why not? Why not try uh, doing so? Because uh, it's a good learning experience and also to improve uh, my skill in Python and also because I want to create, you know, a couple of contributors that could develop their Python for car hacking. So Cantot was bo born and um, I believe uh, it is a fun canvas hacking framework that you can try and maybe you can also help contribute. So it's a quick and dirty canvas hacking framework. I mean, um, there needs uh, there needs to be a lot of things that needs to be done. And um, I was hoping that the reason why I presented this is to compile other vulnerabilities and maybe open up other car hackers to contribute to this framework. So I wanna start something out of the things that I'm doing with my car hacking research. So this is the screenshot as what you can see. Uh, I've, if you try to launch Cantot and then search Tesla, there are two modules there. Uh, one is the Tesla disable ESP ABS. Uh, this module will inject UDS data frames through gateway and disable ESP or ABS ECU at low speed on a Tesla Model S. And then we have the Tesla open trunk, which, uh, which will open a trunk on a Tesla Model S. 85. Um, this was patch because this was discovered in 2016. But hey, the idea of Cantot is to have um, you know known vulnerabilities and also to compile known vulnerabilities in automotive security. So the basic usage of Cantot is there are three 
commands that are you know easy to be familiar with. Uh, you you've got help, which gives you a couple of commands in working with Cansot, and then you also have use just like when you try to call a Metasploit module. So when you try to um, use a module or call a module, you just need to use and then the module name. So take, for example, use scan dot. And then if you want to run the module, you can just type the command run. But there are also options, which I'll be showing it later on. So this is a sample module execution. And um, this module is what you call as reset mileage. So this module clears diagnostic trouble codes and resets the mileage. And as what you can see here from the screenshot, uh, you just need to call use and then space reset underscore mileage with the module name because that's the module name. And then just like Metasploit, you also have the show options. So if you try to show options, you can see the options that you can set. So for example, you have the art ID as the option one, and then the option two is interface. So if you want to edit those options, you can just use set arb ID, uh, set space arb ID, and then space the value of the arbitration ID, because this is the arbitration ID. And then if you want to set your interface, you can do it like this in the command. Set interface, uh, set space interface, space, and then the can interface. So for example, if you have can zero, so set space interface space can zero. And then from there, after all of the options are set, you can run the module directly. And if you try to view the can dump, you can see the dump from there. So as so what you can see here on the, there's a small image at the bottom where it says clear DDC, DTC because I was using a an ECU simulator from Craig Smith when I tried to test this. One. So next up, there's this is the code snippet of the sample module, and as what you can see, uh, this is the the snippet of the diagnostic module, and you can see here that this is how the option is coded. And then this is the main function of the module. So the frame data, you can see the frame data from there. And then let's check one sample module code again. So this is one uh, module code that I've added. So this is the Cherokee kill breaks. And of course, I want to give credits where the credits are due. So this is from the research of Charlie Miller and Chris Velasek. And I gave a reference as well from illmatics.com. And this is the whole uh, module, the one module from the Cherokee kill break. So if you use this module, um, it will bleed all the brakes on the 2014 Jeep Cherokee while the car is moving. So that's the fun stuff that I've added in Canva. So there are a lot of modules aside from that. So I'm going to show a a demo regarding the tool so let me just um point you to my vm so this is my vm and um i'm running cansot on my Kali linux so just gonna try to zoom this one zoom in and um you can just if i'll give the link on how you can clone this one so once you install Cansot, um, this is the main files that you can see and the directories. And then you can just run Python 3 main.py. So there's an error. I'll try to uh, fix on that one because I haven't had this error before. So I'll try to fix on this one. And then I tried to run show modules. And you can see that there are 20, 29 modules as of now, which are uncategorized, which I'll be fixing in the uh, uh, in the in the long run or after a few weeks. So you have show modules, and then you've got some of the modules that are here. 
you have Candom, Canfa SIDS, um, Cherokee Kill Engine, uh, ECU Hard Reset, and then a couple of things like Kill Bus, which uh, will perform a known CAN bus denial of service attack called the Firehose attack. And then we have the Malibu Overheat. Uh, this module will flood temp gauge on a 2006 Malibu. And then you, you have a couple of uh, Tesla Open Truck, uh, UDS Fuzzer, uh, UDS SAC Access Fuzzer, and then uh, PDO Input Output Controller. So yeah, you can actually try to install a uh, clone the repository and try out some of these modules. So if you want to, you know, search, for example, a, cop, um, a certain module, take for example, Mazda. So you can see that there are three matches. And if I want to actually um, try the, try one of the modules, take for example, the, uh, uh, let's just say I'm gonna try on, the Prius Spark kill engine. So I'm just going to copy this one and then use the Prius Spark kill engine. So use and then the module name, call on the module name, and then show options. Okay. Um, for the for demo purposes, uh, purposes we're going to just going to perform this one on a virtual CAN device that I set up. So VCAN0, that's the CAN device that I have, uh, the virtual CAN device. And that's the only option that I have because that's the most important thing that you're gonna set if you want to um, use the Prius Spark Kill engine. So we're just gonna try to run that one. I don't need to uh, set, up, set up the options for interface. So if we try to run, um, it will do this sending a packet that will kill fuel to all cylinders to the ice and then if we try to do a dump can dump so i've already run a um the can dump module so let me just try to zoom that one so yeah i did try to run this one and then this is the uh the, the message that will be sent to the can bus and in my case, the virtual can. So um, here are some of the uh, snippets of the code. So I'm using actually a can on some of the uh, modules, and then I'm also using PY, PYVIT for some of the modules. And here you can see some snippets from my code. Uh, like I said, you can just clone in order for you to view all of the modules that are actually written on this framework. So you have the PG RX E8, which allows you to send or spoof the instrument cluster for Mazda RX8. So there's the RX8 RPM fuzzer. So there's a lot of things that I've included as well. And then a UDS fuzzer, uh, Tesla open trunk. And then of course, um, some of this uh, were discovered already. So there are credits to it and also the reference from the modules. And then kill bus, this is the typical fire hose attack wherein you'll be sending arbitration ID zero and then frame data with eight bytes for zero. So yeah, and then if you want to stop the attack, you can just press control C. So yeah, that's it. And here's a sample a video of an actual instrument cluster that I've tried with CanDot. So there it goes. Um, so this is uh, me on the CANSOT, and I'm actually using the PG207 instrument cluster. So, and also um, this uh, CAN device, SL CAN device, which is CANDAC Pro. So I've run, I run the PG207 IC mover. There's also a fuzzer for it. So that's why it's set to the maximum value. So it moves the speedometer and accelerometer for a PG207 instrument cluster. And if we try to start that one again, you can see the output. And we know that a, su a successful message was sent to 
the instrument cluster, and that's why it reacted that way. So yeah, um, I'm planning to really, you know, put some fun uh, things that you can try when you use uh, Kanza. So that there are uh, some instrument clusters that you can try as well. So I guess that's it for the demo. And um, where's the download link for uh, Kansot? So this is the GitHub repo of Kansot. It's under github.com slash shipcode, which is my handle, and slash Kanton. So it starts with uh, letter uh, after can. Uh, it's big letter T. It's capital letter T. It can talk. And from there, uh, you can see the modules. So um, this is the one. This is the uh, the GitHub repo, GitHub link. And um, there are some installation. So you just need to clone it. And then go to the uh, directory. And then just install the requirements, the text for the dependencies of this. Uh, framework and based on my test, uh, it works better with Kali and Ubuntu. Um, with Debian, um, I have a friend who is actually trying to test that one, and we're we're still trying to fix the dependencies. And then after you've installed the requirements, uh, you just need to run Python three main.py, and then you already have Kanza. So, yeah, um, if you want to try, just clone it, install the requirements, and then you have your own um, known uh, Canvas hacks and vulnerabilities. So let's proceed. So what is the uh, the roadmap for CanDot? Um, the general plan is to compile known Canvas hacks and vulnerabilities. I want it to be um, a vulnerability database for Canvas hacks as well, and um, spread the word about Cantot so that I could invite other car hackers and automotive security enthusiasts to collaborate and create modules. Um, I, I already have one friend who wants to contribute, and he said that he will be uh, adding some of his fuzzers from the car that he is actually testing. So I guess he will try. So shout out to Pirup. I think he will he will uh, ping with me with some of the scripts and then uh, he will try to port some of the scripts to Canva. And then, yeah, I've said this before, Canva as a vulnerability database for Canvas hacks, known Canvas hacks. Um, what are my future dev plan? Uh, improve other options and add info about the modules. So I'm trying to add the option info. So if you try to just, you know, use the module and then say info, uh, you can see what the module We'll try to do and also more information and then add more commands uh, from the directory commands of exploit kit and then i want to add more fuzzers and also ecu unlock modules and then some can analyzer module and then of course i want to improve some exceptions to some errors because maybe you will have errors when you try to send a command uh, some can messages on the canvas network so i want to try to add more exceptions you know, to that and then other plan uh, maybe port some carrying caribou modules i mean carrying caribou is great i love it and maybe i want to port some of the modules that i really like to carrying car uh, to can dot and then the other plan that i have is reach out to the author of can tools which is aka uh aka yak which is Yet another car hacking tool. Um, I tried to test on that uh, on that uh, Python um, toolkit as well, and it's really good. I've seen some good work from Cantool, so I want to you know, reach out and you know um, add something similar to Cantot. So I want to improve Cantot in the long run, and I'm inviting all car hackers. To somehow, um, to somehow help me, um, you know, improve Canton. So I do not claim to be uh, an expert in automotive security, but I plan on, you know, 
uh, improving my skills in car hacking and canvas hacking. So yeah, this is a, uh, this is my start in compiling known canvas hacks. So I would like to give some credits to Nikhil Bogam for CVE 2022-2629 and allowing me to port his findings. Uh, his finding is actually part of Cantot right now. I asked his permission. And then we have Charlie Miller and Chris Balasek for their research and papers. So some of their uh, Canvas hacks are added to Cantot. And then, of course, to Ian Tabor, um, Internet for his advices and mentorship. And then the Car Hacking Village for being an inspiration to me. Um, it's when I go to DEF CON, it's one of the villages that I really want to visit always. And then Eric Evanchik for PYBIT and for Cantac as well. Um, I've used some PYBIT. Uh, Python modules, which I've integrated with Kanbot. And then for Robert Leal, aka Carfucker, for the canvas underscore since that py inspiration. So um, I've written a similar module to the canvas since that I found on Will Carona's repository called chvpy. And then from there, um, I learned that it was part of Robert Leal's or Carfucker's code. So I also gave credits to that one from that module, the Canvas sits, and then Craig Smith for the Car Hackers Handbook and Hardware Bridge Inspiration. And then of course, uh, memes and images from Google. And I'd also like to give credits to other car hackers out there who helped me on you know understanding some other Canvas hacks out there. So if you have any questions, um, please do reach out to me on Twitter, uh, ship code. So the uh, my E is spelled as three, so ship code. You can just um, you know, DM me on Twitter or you know email me. So yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you to the Car Hacking Village for allowing me to present my talk or my framework about um, car hacking. And also, I would like to thank um, the audience who will be listening to this talk. And I hope that you can spread word about Canton.